We're in Tokyo, Japan. In this street food video, we're going to be taking you into a local suburban street market, giving you a glimpse of suburban life in Tokyo. I'm Thomas. And I'm Sheena, and we're chasing a plate. We hope you're hungry. Let's eat. This street is called Sunomachi Ginza. It's about 670 meters long, just one thin strip made up of all sorts of shops. We've got clothes shops, we've got vegetable shops, meat shops, fish shops, but there's a bunch of street food as well, which is obviously what we're here for. And a street like this is not that common. It's rare to find a street with things, lots of things to eat, which there is heaps of on this strip. Absolutely packed. It's, it's not your everyday find in Tokyo and this is gonna be a really exciting day. We're getting in line for our first street food snack. It's actually a Chinese snack, which is a must eat on the street. It's called Sharpen. It's like a, a pancake, a savory pancake. This is a Chinese restaurant, but it's got a little street food stand out the front. These are very famous. We're just gonna work our way right along the strip, eating as we go until we get to the very end today. So we'll do it all in order and see what we come across. It's a super sticky batter that gets this massive clump of pork and vegetable filling put in it and pops straight on the hot plate. They're looking incredible. The Sharpen are flying off the hot plate. She can't make them fast enough. They're a super popular snack. It smells so good. It smells savory, oily, and she put a really decent amount of filling uh, into that dough. Mmm. Mmm. Oh. Piping hot. Look at that though. It's almost a pocket of dough and then you've got that chunky filling in there. As Thomas said before, the dough itself was so light and sticky and bubbly and it's created these air pockets and you've got that juicy meat cabbage leek mixture inside. Whoa. It's really a sizable piece too. Oh yeah. The filling is very loosely packed. Loads of juiciness and flavour. A great start to our street eats today. This next street food is one of the reasons why I love traveling in Japan in winter time. It is a street food called oden. Essentially a big pot of stock or dashi that's filled with all sorts of goodies like tofu, uh, daikon radish, fish cakes. It's hot, it's filling, it's warming. Oden stores generally have two ways of buying. The ones here are for taking home. So you're just buying the skewers dry essentially. But we're in the big long queue for the cook stuff and oh my god, you should see this stock bubbling away. It is packed with stuff. Tamago. Tamago? Hi. Daikon Look at this bath of hot broth. Far out. The smell is incredible. The visuals are incredible. Can't wait to eat this. That was the biggest array of Ordin goodies I have ever seen. There were all sorts of things, fish cakes, vegetables, so potatoes, uh, mushrooms, uh, sausages on a stick, all sorts, bubbling away in that stock. So generally people are taking the Ordin home. Usually you can eat in, uh, it can be a little bit awkward 
because what you really want is actually the stock to slurp up after you've eaten the goodies. Sometimes they give you a bowl and, and that's a lot easier, but this time we've just got a plastic bag and the food on the skewers. But no matter, because I've ordered some things which have soaked up that delicious broth. I've got uh, tofu, daikon, uh, some fish cakes, a little bean curd pouch full of goodies, I think maybe mushroom. And it's such a neat setup. There's such a huge line for Odin and the pots are bubbling, there's steam rising. It is the perfect winter food. I'm not sure what this one is. Maybe fish cake, maybe tofu. Let's find out. Mm. Mm. It was bean curd and it soaked up all of that dashi. There's bits of vegetables in it, sesame seeds. Mm, it's so flavoursome. Mm. Oh. And it's just full of that stock. It's so delicious. <laughs> Tamago on a stick, egg on a stick. Mm -mm. Yum. Just creamy. It's been bathing in that stock. It's just delicious. I just love the vibe of that stall. They're churning through the, the people. There's just so much going on. There's a TV crew there filming, us filming. It's all fun and games. <laughs> Our next stop is going to be all about clams. We're getting some, some seafood from this place. It's a clam croquette, so a deep fried crumbed croquette. Whoa. Uh, <laughs> this stall specializes in clams. There's a bunch of different clam dishes, but look at this croquette. The panko crumbs on there have just been deep fried to absolute golden, crispy perfection. Mm. Oh my God. That's delicious. Oh. Mmm. There's a incredibly soft, fluffy mashed potato filling. That's got clams all through it. I got one of the clams, it's just perfectly cooked. Wow. Very simple and truly delicious. The crunch on the outside, the creaminess. Man, that is good. And how beautiful is it? Look at that deep fry. Golden goodness. This is an incredibly good strip. Like I touched on earlier, they're kind of rare, these. They're not mm. that normal, right? Mm. They're, they're, you, you struggle to find like these true big long strips with lots of street food. Yeah. It's often quite hard in Japan. It's not a big street food culture. And this strip is top notch. Top notch. I think best strip we've ever been to. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Absolutely but it winner. feels very local. It yeah. is local. Oh, it's totally local. Um, no tourists, yeah. except for us. Except for us. <laughs> <laughs> um, and the food's great. And more to come. There are some tasty grill smells emanating from this shop and there's a bit of a line for yakitori, so skewers. The guys are grilling the skewers fresh and they've got heaps lined up. I can see chicken, leek, chicken balls, offal, I think that's pork there. I'm going to grab a huge stack of them. Okay. And two of the negi. Uh, the Tsukine, uh, two please, and two of the chicken skin. Hey, arigatou gozaimasu. Uh, you choose. <laughs> How about this place? Queues of people, meat smoke filling the air. Wow, and visually, that is super pleasing, but the smells, the visuals, ah, oh, this is so good. Uh, 
ありがとうございます。チェキンパイエンレイク。うん。うん。Juicy as they, so they sort of half cook the skewers, and then when you order them, they put them back on the grill, heat them right up, cook them through, crisp them right up, and then they dunk them in this sauce, and that sauce is just coated all of it, and it's just beautiful. Mmm. There's a bit of chicken skin right there, just exploded in my mouth with flavour. Yum. We grabbed a selection of skewers. We've got some meatball ones in there. Look at this one. Chicken skin just oh, folded up on there a little bit charred. And we've got some beef skewers. There's huge chunks of beef. So this is keeping it simple. Meat on a stick. Perfect street food. Oh. Wow. Mmm. Oh, that's so good. The perfect amount of, of fat to meat ratio, super juicy. Oh wow. Mmm. Mmm. Little bit of little bit of char on the fat. Burst of fat in your mouth. Beautiful tender meat. That is so good. Wow. What a stall. Stacks of people, incredible food, yum, simple street food. That's what it's all about to me. I mean, meat on a stick. You can't beat it, and that is good. That is really good beef. Time for a sweet. I've spotted taiyaki, which is a fish shaped filled cake. And this one is filled with emo or sweet potato. It's winter here in Japan. Sweet potato is in season, it's everywhere. So we've got to grab one of these. These are cooked in this amazing griddle, double-sided fish-shaped griddle, which is pivots. So the batter gets surrounded with the filling inside. He's just put some in, five minutes till they're done. Look at that. What a great way to serve the sweet treat. So taiyaki, tai is snapper, bream. It's a type of fish. That's the shape you always get. Now, if you've been watching our Japan series, we've had this before in a few videos. It's everywhere. It's a really common snack. If you haven't been watching our Japan series, go check out the rest of the videos after you've watched this one. But this is the first time we have had a sweet potato version. And as Sheena said, it's the season for sweet potato. It's absolutely everywhere at the moment. You can't get away from it. And sweet potato is great, so it's no problem. Oh man. Mmm, really hot. Wow, fresh off that griddle. Oh, delicious. Goes without saying. It's sweet. It's got it's such a great earthy sweetness you get from sweet potato. Batter is perfectly cooked, crispy on the outside, but then a little bit just perfectly soft as you get through to that filling. That is good, and what a way to wrap up today. There is more along the street to eat. We obviously don't have the world's biggest stomach, so we've eaten what we can fill in our tummies. We have had such a great day here. This place is incredible. This is a true Japanese shopping strip. What a place to visit. We hope you've enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. I've had a ball filming this one. I'm looking forward to finishing up this. Check out the rest of our videos, subscribe if, and, and drop a comment. Tell us what you thought of this one. We'd love to hear from you. Thank you for watching. See you later.